by DFW DJ School, DJ XL here. Part two, Serato DJ setup preferences. Let's jump right into it. We On the first one, we covered DJ preferences. We're now in part two. The first category we're going to go to is USB buffer size, which is your latency. Um, simply, if you move this to the left, if you're a scratch DJ or a turntable list, uh, the more you move this to the left, the tighter the response will be between the software and your controller. So if you want to get those really tight scratches, um, the tighter, the, the further to the left you make this, the tighter it's going to be. Um, also, keep in mind that the, when you move it to the left, it's also going to um, use more of your processor and your memory. So keep that in mind. So if you have the uh, ability to do that, then do that. If you don't, uh, if you're not a scratch DJ, right here in the middle will be fine. You can even move it up to uh, to 10 milliseconds, and you probably wouldn't notice a difference. Just keep in mind, once again, if you move it further to the left, it's going to take more of your memory. Um, to the right, if you have any uh, memory problems, um, it's going to use less of your computer processor. So when you find something that's comfortable for you, just click Apply. Next one is going to be uh, Library. And display show iTunes library is your first one. Um, I personally don't use iTunes, but I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. Here you see all my iTunes playlist over here. So if I uncheck that, it's going to take all of that off of my screen. You see it's gone now. Next on the list is protect library. That's going to prevent you from accidentally deleting or moving file folders, so it's a good idea to have that checked. Custom crate columns. If you have that unchecked, which I like to keep mine unchecked, because I don't want mine custom, I like the, the setup I have. And what that virtually is, is if you click all, whatever the setup is here, added, BPM, song, artist, comment, album, length, location, it's going to be that way in all your folders, that exact same way in all your folders. If you want to customize it in different folders, for instance, in your country folder, you wouldn't need the BPM because um, you really don't beat mixed country. Um, you could take out the BPM column or Christmas music, you wouldn't need it. You wouldn't need a BPM column, etc., etc. Um, but this allows you to customize your crate columns. I have mine unchecked because I like mine to be uniform. Center on selected song. When you're scrolling through your songs, I don't have my external hard drive hooked up, so it's going to be kind of hard to demonstrate. When you're scrolling through your songs, I have this highlighted here, the big shiny 40. As you're scrolling through your songs, see the blue highlight? Serato's going to try to, its best to keep that towards the middle of the screen as you scroll. That's all that means, that your selected song is in the middle of the screen. Uh, include subcrate tracks. What this will do is if you have a lot of subfolders, which I do, um, again, I don't have my external hooked up. So if I click on this old school folder, it has subfolders. In these subfolders, you can see what's in these folders here. Not very much, because I don't keep anything on my internal. But if you want to view the entirety of the old school folder, you can click on the old school folder, and it'll show you everything that's in the old school folder, as well as the subfolders. So, include subcrate tracks, that's what that means there. Played track color, blue or gray. What that basically means is that the songs that you play... Once you play them, you see it turn blue, indicating that that song has been played already. So that way I know later on if I see that same song, I've already played it, so I don't need to play it again. Um, library text size. Um, I'll show you my library text here. So you see how big the text is here? If we increase that, it's going to increase the size over here. Wow. <laughs> I'm blind, but not that blind. All right. 
Hi, Display Track Artist. This is the DJ, the famous DJ AM mode. There used to be a uh, Easter egg for this, but the Serato DJs included this with their latest update. You click this. If you have DJs to hang out with you in your booth that don't do as much work as you do and that basically want to copy everything that you do, I mean, it happens. Uh, you can click that and the, the title and song will disappear from your, from your uh, track listing here. That way people can't see what remix or what mixes you have of particular songs. Uh, it helps you stay individual and it makes them do their own work. And if you uh, forget what you're playing, you can simply just click there and it brings it up momentarily. And that's the infamous DJ AM mode. May he rest in peace. Maximum screen updates per second. Again, the more, the more you increase this, the more it's going to increase the processor um, use on your computer. So uh, all this is is uh, how, how many times uh, basically the software will ping your computer for the, uh, for the screen updates on your visual display. Deck BPM display. You can do it to one point or you can do it to two decimal places. I have mine set to two. I like to be a little precise. Um, send anonymous usage data to Serato. I do not have that checked because uh, I do not want to participate and if they can get that information from somebody else. But that's optional to you. Next tab over is our effects. Something fairly new to Serato DJ to where they have the onboard effects. Uh, here, are the, here are the different packs and you can select the different audio effects and if you want to add that to your to your repertoire that you can uh, pull out and use during your gigs. For instance, if I wanted to add distortion, I could just add that and you see it's been added to my, uh, my list of available sound effects. And you can pick and choose between all of these. And if you have this checked right here, uh, while you're in while you're in control mode, and when you click on your effects, these are the effects that are going to be displayed. Uh, these are the available ones. These are the ones that are displayed that you can use live in your sets. And you can play with this back and forth as much as you like. All right, next tab over is our expansion packs. Serato Video. Self-explanatory. I purchased Serato Video, so I have that enabled and. I can play videos and add that to my uh, repertoire. Uh, your SP6 sampler, I have that also uh, enabled so I can play my drops and my samples as well. Serato playlist, I do enable uh, my Serato playlist because I do like to post mine every now and then online. Uh, enable live playlists, if you have that checked and you have your internet connection, uh, every so often uh, Serato will automatically update to your Serato online profile your playlist. Uh, again, I don't like all that stuff going on in the background, so I have that unchecked. Serato remotes, you could actually add an iPad and use uh, Serato remote controlled uh, with your iPad. I do believe it's available for your iPhone and Android as well. Not sure on that because I never really got too far into that. But that completes your Serato DJ setup tab preferences. We've been through all the different uh, tabs and the different features and the functions. Uh, DJ XL from DFW DJ School. As always, practice, 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 and then practice some more. Please like and leave a comment at the bottom. Thank you.